10 urban Malaysians will be placed in a rural kampung environment for 7 days. Here, they will face each other in physical, mental and social quests. Each night, one urbanite will be sent home. This is Kampung Quest. Being on Kampung Quest is an adventure as I've never experienced Kampung life before. I'm James, looking forward to the challenges. I'm just waiting to start. I'm excited. Hi, I'm Cheryl and I work as an IT specialist. I'm so eager to be here and hope to have an unforgettable experience. Joining Kampung Quest, I'm confident that I can rise up and adapt to the many challenges that await me. I and come from a mixture of many different cultures. I'm hoping my physical athleticism is the advantage I have coming into Kampong Quest. I'm born with a mixed heritage of Chinese and Indian descent. Surviving in a Kampong with no phone and internet? Bring it on, I'm up for it. I'm a born and bred city fellow and I've never set foot in a Kampong before. I am looking forward to the adventure that lies ahead. I'm a fresh graduate of a Bachelor in Nutrition and I'm very active. I love sports and I'm very competitive. I'm a part-time model. This is my first time in a kampong and hopefully I can survive in Kampong Quest. I'm excited for what's to come in Kampong Quest and prove that we, urbanites, can definitely survive in the kampong. Selamat datang to Kampong Quest and welcome, urbanites. I'm Fazli and I shall be your host on this adventure. We have all been divided into two teams. Merapi, which in Malay means volcano, and Merantau, which in Malay means to wander and explore. Familiarize yourself with the faces around you. You shall be competing with and against each other for the next seven days. Kampung Quest will challenge you physically, mentally, and socially. Make the right decisions and you shall go far, but lose and you face the consequences. Every day you will compete in quests. The winning team will get awesome rewards but the losing team shall meet me in the campfire every night we shall host a campfire where you shall vote off one of your own and for that person his or her kampung quest ends so good luck and may your kampung quest begin I'm so ready right now. Actually, with teamwork, we can do anything and everything. As long as you got five cards and you got sequence. Probably it would be my best one in partner right now. We, we both get along really well. Had some pretty good fun yesterday, uh, checking out the river and stuff. And you know, we, I guess we have a lot of common. You know. Mike is very outgoing, boisterous. Uh, shows a lot of energy, but. At the same time, I think if he's overconfident, then probably would let the group down a bit. I think with our team, we have uh, quite a, a strong alliance, I mean, compared to the other team. So I think it's like, we have an advantage there. Yeah. So we have to win. Dominate. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Dominate. We're going to kick ass. Yeah. My team is <laughs> apparently people think that we are strong. Good, but at the same time, 
Like, how would you win if your team members are really strong? Like, you would win challenges, but would you be able to get through to the end? My key is like a trick trap. Yes, very aesthetic. Very aesthetic. Mm. Overly aesthetic. My key can be is a leader, I think. Can guide them to do anything. It's good leader. So, we our group should have a big challenge. Huh? But I think we, we are feeling satisfied by my team. Why? My team. Why? Yeah, my team. Not the whole team. I think socially, I'm going to be odd. You know, physically, I don't know. It's uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What? Yeah, the game, the board. Uh, we're still kind of having fun socializing, you know, we're still getting to know each other. Still waiting for the first challenge to see how we're going to work. That's the key for today. I've made my first alliance. Ivan and James are my alliance members. They're not the strongest members, but they give me the numbers. So that's a strategic play and by keeping the guys, we can keep the team strong. Hopefully win challenges and hopefully we won't have to vote people out. Nadia, she said she's not going to vote me off. But I'm not sure how she's like yet. Because she wants Ivan to, to be on our side too. So I think she's going after Wei Welcome overnights to your first reward challenge. This is Kambing Run. Up in the pen are several Kambings with ribbons of your team colours on their horns. Your challenge is to remove the ribbons and retrieve them back. The fastest time wins. The winning team for the girls, you will get exclusive Dress Me Up sessions by Fashion Valley, Malaysia's favourite shopping website. And for the boys, exclusive backpacks by Green Room 136. They make tough bags. So you ready? Yes. yes. All right, Murapi, you're up first. Rafi thinks they've got all of the ribbon coming back down. Time. Congratulations, Marapi. So, Marantau, up next. On three, two, one, go. Murapi, you did it in 2 minutes, 21 seconds. Murantau, 53 seconds. Murantau wins! Yeah. Alright. Congratulations, Murantau, on your first win. Murapi, better luck next time. Smelly. I would have thought it would be. Dirty. Yeah, done like on them. Yeah, really, really smelly. Yeah. Really smelly. Welcome back Urbanites. Your first task in the Kampong is to build yourself shelters out of the materials in front of you. You have until nightfall 
to complete this task. Build it strong, build it well, because you may have to rely on the shelter for the rest of your stay in the kampong. As long oh, I know as why. We're stronger. I mean, more so. Did you try this? Yeah. Uh, go down, go back up this way. Yeah. Here. I, I let my team run out because they are very open with opinions and they are fast, they're confident, and yeah, I think we're going to win. I think we can win. I think we're strong. Cheryl and I had a conversation with me are thinking to take the rock to form our alliance because my kids say that it's not really that close with Eva, so I think we got the chance in our weakest player I would say would be Deborah. She seems a bit uh, timid, um, not assertive enough, but still, I think that shows in her age because she's probably the youngest in our group. Rafi stole our ideas for the bamboo house like a lot, like a lot of times. It's not just once, okay? When first of all we put the leaves on the sides and they copied that and then I came up with this stupid idea just to put the flag in front and they did that. Oh my god. It was just because our flag was just nowhere to be found and you know I just needed to put it there but they followed that. So yeah, we'll see what they're gonna follow. I have discussed with my group members uh, how to run more s smoothly for the games. Half of your body is outside, okay? I know! Honey, <laughs> do you want to try to come in? How? How? It's not... Okay. It's really no. comfortable. No, it's fine. I know it's comfortable. <laughs> but I'm not going to be very I'm going to come in. It's comfortable too. <laughs> James should come in. James! Yeah, yeah. James! This is your project. Not ours. <laughs> okay. It's not bad. It's not bad, seriously. It's really short lah. Give me something like this. Probably we just do one circle. Then put the put the stick at the white area. Okay. One here, one at the end, and one in the middle. Like this, right? It's very simple since right now we're a team. We just really have to cooperate, and work together, and work fast. That's the only way to get our team to win the challenge. Deborah tends to be a bit quiet at times. Both Zuri and Deborah showed their creative side in, in the 10 challenge. They managed to decorate our ex entrance to the tent. How do I figure this thing out? This is like a button something. Dude. Okay, push it down all the way. Hang on, because this thing is. Sit. <laughs> oh my god, this is embarrassing. Okay, your turn. This is the trick. How? Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you did it. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Awesome. Let's find this way to get. Mm. Okay, one. This one. We're so lucky. We get one fish yeah. and one chicken edge. <laughs> oh, look, so we better win, you know. Yeah, we have to. We have to. Some of them, you know, I'm not so happy. Yeah. We're not smile as much as the last time. That's why we didn't have to give it straight in there. Yeah. What did you say? How oh, good, it's awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. I was like, so? Yes, okay, so we did so. <laughs> so? We just stay cool. We stay nice about I think the food for lunch is not too bad, although they were just like four balls, but we can actually make use of the other plates and stuff which is available. Yeah. 
Merapi had a different set of lunch, but um, I was full. I didn't know about the others, but of course we would work harder to get the bigger portion. Good evening, Murantau. Good evening, Murapi. Welcome to your first elimination challenge. So, how's everyone feel so far? Good. Good. Yeah? How's the afternoon? Great. Great. Cooling. Cooling? Productive? Uh, yeah. yeah. How many of you took naps? Naps. Okay. No water, no electricity. Yeah. Problems to solve in the kampong. Maybe try to solve them rather than taking naps next time. So, Praveen. What's happening at the Merapi camp? Morale is good. Uh, we're slowly picking ourselves up after making the tents. Yeah? Yeah. Do you guys think you've built a solid structure for your tent? We did it there very ergonomically designed. All right. That can help prevent rainfall from falling down to the side, so it's good. Okay, well, if you lose this quest, you'll have your first hand chance at testing out your structure. All right. What about you, Morantau? How's your tent? Uh, it should be good, but we don't want to test it tonight. Oh, that's good. Good answer. So you guys are here to win? Yes. yes. Alright, so let's go right into the quest. This is an elimination quest, which means that the losing team will be seeing me tonight at campfire, and one of you will be going home tonight. Behind me are several bags tied with the ribbons of your camp colours. In the bags are puzzle pieces to be assembled at the end of the quest. The first team to complete the puzzle wins the quest. Each team will choose one player to be the caller, stationed right here and unable to move until you complete all the puzzle pieces. Then three of you will form a triad, blindfolded and tied at the wrist. The caller will guide the triad through the field to pick up all of your bags. The last remaining member will be assembling the puzzle piece on the board. The first team to complete the entire quest wins. The winning team will get one poncho and a bowl of shampoo, essential to ensure that you have a smooth ride for the next seven days. Are you ready? Yes. Rapi's caller is Mikey, their triad, Zura, Praveen and Deborah, and their puzzle solver is Cheryl. Marantau's caller is Wei Shen, the triad is James, Ivan, and Nadia. Puzzle solver is Honey. Marat P, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Maranta, are you ready? Yes. Now my count, three, two, one. Quest on! Marat racing through the field, Marantau. A bit of turtle pace. Marat two bags, Marantau, two bags. Both teams have two bags each. Marantau slightly in the lead with their fourth bag. Morapi catches up. Four bags each. Okay, walk to the right. Morapi picking up the fifth bag. Morantau picks up their fifth bag. Morantau now trailing with only five bags. Morapi catches their final bag, eight bags from Morapi. Morantau has two more bags on the field. Morapi has their flag and is now in the lead. Morapi racing through the field. Solver, you can start. Morapi has undone all of their bags and has started on their puzzle. The pieces of our puzzle form a phrase. Reading that phrase aloud correctly wins you this quest. Cheryl still slowly piecing together her puzzle. Honey doing a great job of catching up. 
I'm sure every team is wondering, did they choose the wrong member to complete the puzzle? Honey almost halfway through her puzzle. Making quick work of the last few pieces of the puzzle, Cheryl is almost at the end of her puzzle. Cheryl so close, with only four tiles left. To dream the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable fall, to bear with unbearable sorrow, to run where the world does not go. Cheryl completes the puzzle! Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Morapi, on winning your first elimination challenge. Morantau, unfortunately, I shall be seeing you at a campfire tonight. So go back, rest up, and think about your decision for tonight's elimination. Tonight, my group, Morantau, will be to stay outside, not under the roof. Under the sky. I thought he could have done a much, much better job because he could have looked at the other team in comparison wise. He could have told us, you know, like, okay, you guys take bigger step. I think Honey could have done also a better job, you know, like, because she said that she's good at it. So, you know, it was a kind of ironic thing to have to qualify for us. I think I'm going to throw Ivan out because he's not contributing anything to the game. Um, and Rachel, I need them to. We're gonna eat eggs tonight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. You just eggs? Yeah. <laughs> and rice. Wow, okay, like, it's uh, fried rice. Right? Okay, okay. Nasi goreng kampung. That's fine. Um, What's this? After the second challenge, me and Benjamin and James are going to start with which one to choose. Then final decision for for Benjamin and. James to choose honey. But for me, I still cannot decide. Either I will choose honey or Nadia. I think I will vote Ivan now because um, from what we could see, he is like the weakest member in the Grand Cow team. He's a great guy, but at this point of time, all we want to do is win, win and we just want the strongest um, contestants that has their own strength and abilities to push us forward. Fogo. Fogo. Hey, this one. Five for... What's the... This is just five for me. Oh, you know, if, you add, if you aggregate... Okay, yeah, why don't we do this? Can, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. No, everyone will get one. No. Let's see how many... Just times. smash it up. No, no, okay, no. I'll use this. Oh, there's four. <laughs> then it's this. okay. Mix it up, it. Mix it up. Can't we smash it? Like in small pieces, so it's mixed. Oh, okay. No, we take the big face, okay? Alright, yeah, we take the big in. Okay, I'll share with Nadia. No, what are you saying? <laughs> it's okay, I can share with someone. Yeah, I can share with you. Yeah. I'll share with you. The only thing that we do now is we can keep the plant strong. So that's the basis on which I think we should be moving to that. We have decided on adding simply because right now, there's we're going to sleep in a tent at night and it has rain, it has hot. But the problem with hunting was even during the day when the ground was dry after we constructed the tent, she didn't even want to get into the tent. So I think that that speaks to how ready she is for the challenge and you know, she might crumble earlier than Nadia. It's a game, you know, a anybody could be playing the chess heads and mentally, you know, physically, whatever, but mentally is the top. You have to learn how to trust, you know. Welcome to the first campfire, Morantau. The first elimination campfire. Let me introduce to you tonight, the CEO of Fashion Valley, Fadza Rudin, whom I know you guys were familiar with Fashion Valley from your first reward challenge, Kambing Run. And he'll ask you a couple of questions about Kampung life. How life has been from the start of your Kampung quest. So, good evening guys. 
First of all, I, I just want to say congratulations on winning the coming run. I know you girls got some stuff from Fashion Valley. I hope you love it. And I heard you guys got some pretty cool bags too. So I hope you guys enjoy that. What do you guys really miss most about, I mean, being out here? Being clean. Being clean. What do you guys feel like that's the most like difficult thing to live with? They were just not used to having to wear the same thing. And sleeping outside on the wet ground. Yeah. And walking on grass. Definitely. I'm it's away. All right. So quite an experience, right? Yeah. 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 Ivan, do you have any strategies coming into uh, this elimination? Wow. Wow. Good team camaraderie. Uh, so honey, in your opinion, who's the strongest person in this group? All of them. All of you? Yeah. Yeah. There are a few ways you could look at it. It's either you get rid of the strong guy now and give yourself a better chance later on or you get rid of the weakest person in the team and you know, hope that the rest, the other four make it to all the way to the end. Do you think you have a chance to win? Well, I think all of us have a one and eight or nine chances. <laughs> <laughs> it's really way too early to say and you know, the fact that we are putting someone on tonight Okay, I, I run a pretty small team myself and you know I love to be very open with my team. So usually when we have the weakest person, we will point it out just so that that weakest person can become even better. You know, whether you're the second weakest or you're the third weakest, do you guys know, you know where, where the particular weaknesses are? Um, I think after today's challenge, the one we lost, uh, after we came back, we all, we all sat down and talked about it and realized where we should improve and would be better. So, kind of all of us have weaknesses, you know? Yeah. The team, we have to work together to make it strong. So, hopefully, by tomorrow, we'll be strong. I wish you guys all the best. You, know, you guys all look like you, you could potentially win it. But unfortunately, someone has to go home tonight. So, good luck. So, guys. Some words of encouragement, some words of advice. It's the first elimination campfire. But what Father says is true. There's only 10 people on the Kampong Quest. So even if you keep losing, it's just a matter of days before it comes down to one of you and five of them. The strongest go on, or the weakest leave so that your team doesn't have to come back for another campfire. Let's start the vote. Question, why don't you start? Things for sure, one of you is going home tonight. What about you, Nadia? How do you make your decision? Um, my decision was on the best interest of the team. I felt like it was a nice little job. Um, it would have put us in to a disadvantage position. All I wanted to do was to be forward. So you think without this person, you'd be a slightly stronger team? Okay. How about you, Ivan? How do you choose your votes tonight? So you have decided to choose someone that you think is possibly the strongest in the game. So Ivan's decision now is to take out one of the strong ones to better his chances of winning. So James, what was going through your mind when you were writing on your book? Um, actually this person is like, uh, doesn't have the confidence. I think he or he doesn't believe in himself, you know. Um, 
we just kind of back the team, you know, we don't want to vote back. Because, you know, if the person voted it, you know, then it's going to be good for the team. But if one guy is separated, it's not a team. So I think this is based on for the whole team, not just for me, for the whole team to go forward. So with that, James, why don't you show us who you voted for? So James has voted for Ivan. Naturally, Ivan, I would like to ask you, who do you vote for? Nadia. So Ivan probably thinks that Nadia is possibly one of the strongest contenders in the game. If Nadia doesn't get voted off tonight, does that put a giant target on her back? Well, Nadia, who do you vote for? Nadia also, Ivan. So we're down to two votes Ivan, one vote Nadia. Weishen? Weishen, three votes Ivan, one vote Nadia. Honey, it really doesn't matter what you voted right now. I think the overwhelming consensus is Ivan, but for the sake of it, who do you vote for? Ivan. Well, Ivan, the Kampung Quest ends tonight. Any final words to say to your team before you leave? Well, Ivan, thank you so much. Thanks for being on Kampung Quest. And good luck in your journey ahead. All right, Marantau. So it's pretty clear from your vote that it's a much more united team now. And let's hope that you have a better showing against Morapi tomorrow. You do not want to be coming back to another campfire. Good night. In the next episode of Kampung Quest, Marantau have to spend their first night outdoors and adapt quickly. Merapi brave the storm and shine with great teamwork. A rift in Marantau threatens to tear them apart. The Urbanites face their toughest quest yet. An unexpected return to the Kambing Pen leaves the Urbanites divided. Marantau teammate, I hope you guys have so much more challenges and I hope one you can. In the inner of Kampung.